This is a tutorial on how to use a calculator to do scientific notation. Let's start with our first example. Here we have 1.26 times 10 to the third power. Now if we wanted to see this number when it's not in scientific notation, we would normally just do the 1.26 and then times 10 raised to the third power. giving us 1,260 as a result. Now there's actually a simpler way to do this on the calculator. Rather than doing the times 10 raised to the third power, the calculator uses this uppercase E. So if we put in 1.26 E3, that represents 1.26 times 10 to the third power. Now this E that I'm referring to isn't just the typical letter E from the calculator, but it's this blue E above the comma button. So to put this in the calculator, we'll do 1.26, and then to get to E, we'll hit second, comma, and then put three. And then when we hit enter, we'll get the same exact result. Now that we know how to do this, let's try one more example. So here we have 360,000 times 80,000. Now rather than typing out all these zeros, let's convert these into scientific notation. So 360,000 would be the same thing as 3.6 times 10 to the fifth. And 80,000 would be the same thing as 8 times 10 to the fourth power. Now let's do that multiplication on our calculator. So we have 3.6 times 10 to the fifth times 8 times 10 to the fourth, giving us a result of 2.88 times 10 to the tenth power. Now if you ever need to write down a specific answer in scientific notation, you will not want to use this E. That's strictly just a calculator notation. So in order to conventionally write out your answer, you'll need to write it as 2.88 times 10 to the 10th power. And that's how you do scientific notation on your calculator.